do you feel that um, you know there's something in a way that that Gould prepared you to be able to do something like this, or or maybe put you in a position to be able <laughs> to 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 do something like this? Um, yeah, I really do. I mean, I think my Gould experience was valuable in a number of ways. I think having the opportunity just to go to Gould and have that structure and have um, teachers that really cared um, about their students and the small classes and um, just everything. I think, you know, it definitely set me on the path to, to go to college. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and then from there, you know, really understand my, uh, my, my love for, for traveling and getting out there and experiencing different cultures and adventuring. Um, so I think Gould definitely prepared me, just put me on the, the path um, to take off and really pursue what I love. Um, which is cool. And, you know, I had lots of crazy adventures at Gould too, man, you know, <laughs> living in the wilderness, yeah. get to ski every day, you know, it's, it's a good life. Yep. Junior point, you probably took you the, the nine, nine days. Yeah, yeah of course. Ex- woods, exactly. Yeah. Survival skills. Yep. Yeah. I think I actually put that to use. I mean, where there was, um, yeah, there's, there's, you might, you might see some of those survival skills in use. I can give shout outs, you know, I mean, uh, from from Gould, definitely uh, Mac Davis, who was my advisor. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, definitely uh, the Mannings, who you know put up with all my crap. <laughs> you know, being a little a hood, hoodlum and um, you know living in that dormitory, uh, and then uh, you know definitely um, Dr. Clark for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Dr. Dr. Clark, I think that was the first class that I really took. And really, really enjoyed it and just um, made me appreciate school a bit more. And, um, you know, it just it influenced me to be a communication major and, you know, learn a bit more about philosophy. So big, big shout out to Dr. Clark. Cool. For sure. You know, we've always said if we could take the notoriety we get from the show and channel it into a positive way, mm-hmm. um, then we would like to do that. So we're kind of working on something on the side. Um, <clears throat> And uh, kind of building a little bit of a brand, um, and we're going to be trying to do several different projects that users can vote on. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, anything from uh, demining a field in Cam- fields in Cambodia um, to you know working doing water projects. Um, so we're going to kind of do our uh, a ch- you can choose our next adventure type of deal and kind of be part of it. And then uh, Taylor's actually going to we're going to be filming a small production. Right now on it. I'm part of a startup uh, called Nika Water. Um, and we're actually taking our first big trip to Africa. We work with, uh, an NGO over there called free the children. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we're going to be building, uh, these schools that actually have a a built in water catchment system. Um, so we primarily, you know, we're, we're Southern California company. Um, we sell a a super eco-friendly bottle of water and, um, a hundred percent of the profits are donated to these different uh, charities that specialize in in water sanitation and education.